Welcome back to Keep It Over Reps. Uh, today we are going to review Penalty of Leadership by Boldy James and Nicholas Craven. What other rapper you know survived a car crash and made an album after? In Detroit, mind you. That's a good question. I'm sure there's somebody out there, but... He survived that shit in Motor City, bro. It was written. Little introduction on both of these people. Boldy James is a uh, rapper out of Detroit. Really came to prominence in 2020. With um, my, the price of tea in China, since then he's produced been by the alchemist. yes, fully produced by the alchemist. Since then he's just been on a on a really great run. I think last year was his first year where I can say I was like slightly underwhelmed, but he didn't really drop much, and the projects he dropped weren't really high profile what did he like drop that. Last year, Indiana Jones or and um, what was the one with what's the Prisoner one of Circumstance? Circumstance? Yeah, Prisoner of Circumstance, which aren't the one with with. Uh, and then didn't he also drop um, Killing the something? Killing nothing. That was twenty two. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, but, but yeah, you do. Nicholas Craven is a producer out of I want to say I know he's from Canada. I want to say Montreal. Nicholas Craven is a nigga that Google searches his name or er, searches wait. his name on Twitter and likes wait, every wait. single tweet that got his name in it. Wait, wait. Before we go any further, can I let me finish this? Yeah, yeah. fatty, go. No. This is a Nicholas Craven and Boldy James' second collaborative project. Their first one was Fair Exchange No Robbery, which came out back in 2021. That's Great album. Christmas album, right? Christmas? Ain't that shit a Christmas album? No, it's just it's, Snow on the Cover. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why did I think it was a Christmas album? Probably because snow there's Snow on, on the, the cover. cover. Dumbass. Did it come out in December? It came out in, like, October or something like that. Look it up. It says it right there. When's it really safe? September. All right. Oh. Well, yeah, uh, we did review that. So if you want to go see the review, go check it out. I, I think all I of us. I don't think I was on that one. Yeah, I don't think Chris is on that one. The link will be posted. No, above. no, it won't. That was a good project. I wasn't like blown away by it. I personally, I think the the first half of the album isn't as strong as the second half. But I do really enjoy that project. I still go back to it every once in a while. Designer drugs is my shit on that Empower nap. Um, so yeah, so they linked again. Um, Scrabble is the best song off that album. No, the fuck it's not. Yep. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, so they linked up after Boldy James' car crash. He had a car crash late last year. Um, Near fatal. Yeah, it was pretty bad apparently. Um, but while in recovery, him and Nick Craven colli- uh, linked up for another collab project, and this is how we got Penalty of Leadership. And I'll just go ahead and say, I think this is way better than Fair Shade No Robbery. Like, significantly better. Like, I think the beats on here are better. Uh, I feel like Boldy sounds more comfortable over this production. Um, I didn't love all the features on Fair Exchange, no, Robert. Not, not like there's, like, a bunch on there, but just, like, there was a couple forgettable ones. I feel like... There's only one on here. Yeah, and his feature was nice. I did like Double D's feature. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this project front to back. I don't think there's a single skip on here. Um, I mean, obviously, there are songs that I like more than other songs. Um, my personal favorite probably being early when I was to get birds. I think that beat is nasty. But um What's the song where he was like He said some shit like I'm the type to Rambo or some shit. Scrabble. That was Scrabble? No, yeah. it wasn't Scrabble. Yeah. That's, That's not even on this album. album. No, oh, yeah. um I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's um no pun intended. Oh. The two singles, yeah, no pun intended, and brand new Chanel kicks were the two singles, and what? they were very two brand very good Chanel singles. Kicks. That was getting steady rotation from before the album even yeah. dropped. Yeah, yeah, brand new Chanel kicks is nice. Um, um, he had like, I'm not even gonna bullshit you, like five of the first six tracks are like pretty really good. What uh, are the, are you saying that the second half of the album isn't as good to you? I don't know why you would. I, I'm that. just are you, like, because you said the. You, you said five has 71, out of the first bro. six tracks are really good. I guess, bro. I mean, you, nobody said that. But that's, that, It was you, a question. I wasn't accusing you of saying that. It was a question. You, God, I but fucking you. hate. Yeah, man. I really couldn't say enough about this album. It is only 11 songs. It's a very short, short concise listen. As are many Boldy James projects. I feel like wasn't the last shit they had together not that long either. It was 10 tracks. And it went like more than 40 minutes, I feel like. Yeah. I don't remember Fair Exchange No Robbery that well because I really don't revisit it. Um, Straight and Tall was the best song on that shit. No, it wasn't. It was Scrabble. Oh, y'all are on crack. But anyways, 
Um, yeah, this was a very concise listen. A lot of good verses. Production sounds very like. I don't know. Just with the rollout of this album, <coughs> I don't know like if, how big the rollout was, but I do know that it was made under some pretty dire circumstances. Um, and considering that, the production was like pretty happy. A lot of like major chords and notes. Um, and just, I, I don't know, the production was like really bright to me. It, kind of like a contrast from, I feel like I hear Boldy James rap on a lot of gritty shit a lot. Uh-huh. Um, so definitely contrast that, uh, which I enjoyed. Yeah, it was very like twinkly. Yes, like, yeah, that's a good word for it. Twink, twinky. <coughs> twinkly. Nah, bro, but this was a, like, honestly, like, for somebody that's not like the biggest fan of Boldy James. For someone who's a bitch. Speak for yourself. Sorry, right? continue. Yeah. For somebody that's not the biggest fan of Boldy James, I think that, like, there's something for everybody on this album. Um, like, Boldy, honestly, Nicholas Craven is a goaded producer. Like, he be having the, the sneakiest, like, little hidden tracks that, like, Apple Music will show to me. Like, I was just listening to uh, Laprie with Matt Um mm. Great song, bro. Like, I'm coming into Nicholas Craven a lot. Um, he did a lot of these on Pray for Haiti, too. Right. Which ones? He did um, Stellar Ray Theory. That's he a great did, song. He just did... No. That song's also very bright production. Oh, he did Criminal. No, I lie. He didn't do Stellar Ray Theory. He did Criminal. Yeah, because Stellar oh. Ray Theory is Conductor. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> but, um... Like, the first track that I heard off this album was No Pun Intended, and I knew I was like, okay, like... That was a great intro. Bro. Yeah. I was a great way to be introduced to this album, like, and for it to be track number five and every song before that hits, like, yeah. Really, every song after that, too. I don't think the album got, like, weaker in its second half or anything. I would agree. Um, really enjoyed that Double D feature as well. Um, yeah, that's just good. They collaborated before, too. On what? Um, did you hear um, Noise Candy Vibe, the Rome Street album from earlier this year, or from last year? What, he dropped two albums last year? No, I did not hear it. Yeah, was he, it on streaming? Yeah. Noise Candy 5 does a song with Rome Streets, Bull James, and Hell Be on it. It's no. pretty good. I really like Straight Eyes as well. Straight Eyes. Yeah. Is Double D on anything else Straight I would eight, know? That's what I said. Huh? Is Double D on anything else I would know? I feel like this is the first yeah, time I've, I've heard him. No, I haven't heard anything else. At least I haven't, but. I could be wrong. I'm sure he's. I'm sure he has shit out. But yeah, yeah. This is. A, I don't. This like. I feel like Boldy James probably at this point. You're not getting anything new from Boldy. It's you're gonna get him rapping o- about you know street life, dealing drugs mm-hmm. over. Something. He said. I sent my son to school with too much money. Almost got him suspended, bro. I I remember the exact bar, but that was something the along the lines. Yeah. That was the gist of it. That shit was crazy. I will say on this project, I do think he got a little bit more personal. Oh, for sure. About obviously but about the car accident and his recovery and that. You, he had to like that was the whole point of this album. Like yeah, it was um, a good comeback for sure. Like there was the the news article or the news uh, clip that he put in the as one of the samples. Yeah. yeah. Um, just the the you know the way he was using it as like context pieces for the album and like talking points um it was it would have been hard for him like not to make that a part of the album to be honest it would have been a little disappointing if he hadn't addressed it yeah right but um i mean i don't think like i don't know how you don't address some shit like that when it's your real life yeah just like that's what artists do they make shit from their lives right always not always Cause like I, don't, I mean, well, an artist like Boldy James, anyway. Um, so I think like for Boldy him James too, anyways. it's a wildly different statement. Um, but go on. Y'all oh, so you it, can interrupt me, right? Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Choo choo train. <laughs> hey yo. I will I say, I think this is his best project since. Price of Tea in China. No. Bo since, Jackson. Yeah, I was gonna say probably since Bo Jackson. In my opinion, I like this Breaking more than Bo movie. Jackson, but less than Price of Tea in China. Ooh, I don't know, man. Oh, I mean, Bo Jackson is, in my opinion, his best project. But oh yeah, your sleep, your sleep. Uh, Shut up. Anything else? 
I listened to that recently. Michael actually. Jackson? Mm-hmm. It's really good. I just think it like, is really good. This is also really good, though. Even the songs I didn't really like the most. Like, I didn't really like Soccer Mom the most. But, like, I remember we was, um... Why? Because well, I liked other songs more. What didn't you like about Soccer Mom? Don't, you can't ask him those types of questions. Like, no. Just like That's not a sufficient more, explanation. I'll be real like, with you. More. It was more. He, he didn't really like more. the syntactical structure of Soccer Mom. So. You don't like the fact that yeah. a woman was mentioned in the title, did you? <laughs> That's what you didn't like. It was called soccer. If it was called Soccer Dad, it'd be your favorite song on the album. Right? I promise Misogynist. you, probably wouldn't have. Yeah. Misogynist. Um, misogynist. W. B. Larry. and I like gonna have the same point, and the niggas gonna agree with me because my point is gonna be the same point that he made earlier, which is that I don't think the album has any skips, but he just gonna find a way to ride my fucking dick about it. What? <laughs> I don't see how I did that. But you know, it's all good. It's all love, though. You know. <laughs> um. But yeah, solid album. Another great piece of work from Bodie James and Nick Craven. I think this is one of those projects where it's like, I don't know, I feel like I don't have too much to say. I don't know if you guys feel the same because it's just like... It's repetitive, but it's such, like, it's good quality, so it needs yeah, to be spoken about. Exactly, exactly. Um, it's like, it's formulaic, <laughs> and Bully James is definitely one of those rappers who I at least feel like are very formulaic in their approach, but it's a very good formula, and that makes it not boring to listen to, but definitely boring to talk about because it's like... <laughs> It's like the push it. <coughs> Shut up! You're so rude. <coughs> it's like the push a T effect. <laughs> Sorry. It's like the push a T well, effect. Um, but yeah, night, not not a knock to the album. Again, it's just like there's nothing egregiously bad about it. I also don't feel like there's anything like crazy standout about it either. Um, but I also don't feel that way about the rest of Boldy James music. Except for like a couple tracks off the price of tea and trying to to me. Um, so yeah. And Bo Jackson. I'm, I'm not I'm not huge on Bo Jackson, bro. I think it's good. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, uh, not really much to say about Penalty of Leadership other than what's already be said. Um, like I said, Boldy James just like an artist that makes, I feel like since 2020, at least when I first heard of him, um, or heard his work, he just makes pretty consistently good music. Um, that being said, like I'm not the biggest fan of him, so like hearing him on tracks doesn't really like do things for me the way you know a lot of my peers feel. Um, but regardless, like this is just very high quality rap music, uh, very good production, very bright production. Um, and yeah, I, oh, we're, we're doing away with number scores this year. Um, little channel update. So I'm going to give this album a B plus. Favorite track? Call me see the My favorite tracks are straight A's, uh, early worms, get birds featuring double D great song. Um, the intro, formal invite, and murderous tendencies. B plus. Yeah, this album's great. Um, like I, like I said in the review, I think it's better than their previous project, and this is Boldy's best project in, I would say, probably like two years now at this point. Uh, I think Killing Nothing is probably the closest that it came to this, but yeah, I really enjoyed this project. I don't think this is a single skip. Obviously, I do have certain tracks that I like more than others, which I did mention on the on the video. But um, yeah, I guess I I probably get this project around the same that that Johansson did somewhere around like a B plus if we were giving letter grades to it. I think it's just I think it's a great project. I don't think it does anything extraordinary or anything like way out there for either artist. I do think Nicholas Craven slightly stepped up his production from the previous project and gave us like more layered loops instead of just something very stripped back like Fair Exchange No Robbery was. But um. Yeah, just really like this. Um, and my favorite tracks would be Jack Frost, uh, Brand New Chanel Kicks, Early Worms Get Birds, and Speedy Recovery. Penalty of Leadership, the second offering between Boldy and Nick Cravens in, I believe, as many years, if not the second in three years, three calendar years anyway. Um, 
intro was amazing. Second track, Jack Frost, was amazing. There's no, there's not a single bad song on this. I love the singles that he dropped before the album. No pun intended. Was crazy. Brand new Chanel kicks was crazy. Um, I love how they have. They haven't really perfected, but they've executed well the concept of giving us ten or so tracks and um, making it really short and sweet uh, and just not strain from a formula, you know? Kind of what Yohansei was saying. Um, if I were to give this a rating numerically, unlike that other dude from earlier, I'd probably give this project an 8 out of 10. Um, <laughs> my top four would be Formal Invite, Jack Frost, probably brand new Chanel Kicks, and uh, I guess uh, I guess murderous tendencies, but yeah, you know, doing numbers on a bitch nigga. Penalty of leadership. It's actually a very fitting title, just considering like I've been, you know, penalized with leadership myself a bit this past you know, this past year. Chris, talk about the album, bro. I am. No, <laughs> no, you're not. I've been penalized a bit myself with the leadership, so I was able to really relate to this album. Um, you know, the first first song that I heard off this was No Pun Intended, and it really stuck with me. Like, off the first listen, I like I heard the beat, I heard Boldy come in on it, and I just, I knew that I was going to be um, very satisfied with the product. So, I say all that to say, my favorite songs off this are Murderous Tendencies, No Pun Intended, Straight A's, and uh, early bird, early worms get birds, um, and I'm excited to see what Nicholas Craven comes out with next. Um, you know, I'm excited to see what artist he works with next. I would love to see him do like a bit more collabs. I don't know too much about Nicholas Craven as an individual producer and what he's kind of um, done, where he's been, who he's seen. Um, but from what I've heard so far, I'm excited.